find the limit as t approaches 0 of the sine of 8t over 7t. So if you just try to plug in 0, you end up with 0 on the bottom. So that will not work. So the idea here is to use a formula. Recall that the limit as x approaches 0 of sine x over x is equal to 1. This is a super important formula uh, to know. So we need to manipulate this problem to make it look like this. The trick is this formula can be used as long as this piece is the same as this piece and this piece that I've circled approaches 0. So here we have an 8t. So we want the bottom to be an 8t. So we can do it in two steps or we can do it in one. Let me just go through it slowly. So we have t approaching 0. We still have the sine of 8t because that's what we want. That stays. The 7, right, the 7 on the bottom, you can pull that out. So you can write that as a 1 over 7. And that leaves you with a t here. So all we've done at this point is just pull out the 1 7th. Notice that there is a 1 up here, right? So you could write it as 1 over 7 and, and then pull that out here. So now you want an 8 on the bottom. So what you do is you simply put it there. I'm going to put it there. Use a different color. But you can't just put it there. You've got to take it away. So I'll put it on the outside, right? Because if you multiply 8 times 8 on the bottom, right? It's really 8 over 1, so they cancel. So this is really 8 sevenths limit t approaches 0 of sine of 8t over 8t. And you can see how it, it just beautifully cancels, right? You see the 8s cancel, and you distribute the 7, and you, and you get back what you started with. Um, so this piece here, we can apply the formula now because these pieces match. You see this is the same as this, and it's approaching 0. So this is 8 sevenths times 1 which is equal to 8 sevenths. And that would be the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful.